Okay, Crystal, this is how you could do some of that form stuff. So if you want to do it in one spreadsheet, um, so I've got some just some fake data here. Do name entries and ID across the top. So we're going to do some, uh, first of all, do data validation. Um, so I want to put it, <laughs> I want to put it in cell F2, and I'm going to do range A, A, so it gets all the first column. Hit save, and what this does is it gives me a list of names to pull from, so I don't have to type a name in. For entries, just the number of you can use a count if function. Um, and this one for the range, we're just going to do a a again, so all the first column. So as things get added to the form, that'll show up. And then the criterion is going to be the name in F2 that we select. So I enter, and nothing is selected, so there's zero. But if I just go and I hit your name, your name is in this list once, so you get a one next to it. Um, or you know, like if I hit another name, like uh, let's see, do Amanda, that'll pop up twice. And then sometimes you want the ID number, so this is where um, we can use VLOOKUP. Now the thing with VLOOKUP is it has to be in the same sheet um, in order to work easily. So we're going to VLOOKUP and our search key, this is what we are looking for. So this is going to be F2. The range for this one needs to be your entire data set. So we're going to do A1 to B15. And then the index is which column we want to we want to look up. So we're going to use column number two. And so the ID number for Amanda is 100. If I change this to Jamie, uh, he's in there twice, and his ID number is 107. So that's how you can do it in one sheet. Now, if you want to do it in two different sheets, I know they said they have a form. It's just a little bit more complicated, but it's still not that bad. So for the lookup, um, this tab, we're going to treat this like a second sheet. So same thing, we're going to do some data validation here. So this one is going to be the form data sheet, um, column A. Hit save and it brings those names in for me. Entries, we can use the count if again. Uh, and for this one, all we need to do is specify the sheet name. So we're going to do form data as the sheet and column A A. And then our criterion for this one is going to be column A or cell A2. So if I change this to uh, your name, you're in there once change it to Jamie, he's in there twice, and I think this guy Tim is in there three times. So I can go through and pick which one. And then the ID number, this is where it gets a little more complicated. So the first thing uh, we want to do um, is VLOOKUP. Um, so we open this up, and our search key is going to be A2 because that's where our name is. Now the range, here's where we can use import range. And to do this, you grab the URL of the spreadsheet, so it's either the one you're in or the one you want to connect to. And then we need to give it the range again, so the range string. And this is, remember before, we need that whole data set, so this is going to be form data, exclamation, A1 to B15. So that's our import range, and that's going to be our data set. And then our final um, note here, Oh, and this needs to be in quotes, I'm sorry. A1 quotes. And then our final note for the VLOOKUP, we are, this is still going to be index two because it's still column number two we want to report. So we come back here and drop column two in. And if I hit enter, it gives me that ID number again. And so that's how you would use import range and VLOOKUP in the same thing. Um, and you only have to do that with this because the the VLOOKUP can only be on the, the physical sheet you're in. So even within the same workbook here, I can only use VLOOKUP in the one sheet, so I have to import that range. So this URL could be a totally different sheet. Um, you just need to have that link and then your form data. So I know that was really fast, uh, but if you still need help, shoot me uh, an email and I'd be happy to take a look at it after the holiday.